Hi, welcome to a three-part masterclass on high performance. It's a conversation about how to deliver exceptional results in whatever sphere of life that you might be in. We'll talk about three things that I believe make up high performance. Number one, the culture. What are the elements of a high performance culture? Number two, individuals, high performing individuals. What are their attributes? What qualities do they possess? Number three, management, high performance management. How do you manage in such a way that you're able to consistently sustain the culture and individuals that ultimately deliver the results that you're looking for? High performance. I start with a disclaimer. Not everyone will agree with what I'm going to discuss in this series for the simple reason that some of what we discussed is idealistic. It's aspirational. And so it might not be that it's practical or achievable, at least not just now, but it's something that we need to aspire to. So bear that in mind. Number two, ultimately, it all comes down to people. So we could have the best of intentions in terms of driving the right culture or having the right performance management systems, but because it's dependent on people who by their nature are imperfect, you then end up with flaws. So bear those two points in mind. I start with a quote. The right culture helps the right people to deliver the right results. The right culture enables the right people to deliver the right results. That is fundamental, and that's the foundation on which we will build this masterclass going forward. And so, we start with a definition. What is high performance? It's a terminology that's often used and related to exceptional performance, beyond the normal, outperformance. You often find it associated with high quality engineering. You often find it associated with the, the, most, the greatest of achievements of mankind, of individuals, high performance. You have high performance vehicles, high performance machinery, high performance people as well. We start with the culture. What are the elements of a high performance culture? What do we see as common in cultures that can be described as high performance or supporting high performers? Number one, results. An environment where the emphasis is primarily on results. How exactly you go about delivering what needs to be delivered is sometimes secondary to the actual delivery that you've actually seen. It's more about what, it's about outcomes. The process is often flexible. We're looking at delivery. We're not looking at how much time you spent on a particular item or how exactly you've gone about it. It's about delivery, the results. Number two, it's an environment where the status quo is challenged. It's an environment where people do not settle. Continuous improvement, looking for ways to do things better, challenging things that were done before on the understanding that they can be done better. There is no such thing as a status quo. It's also an environment where competence is considered superior to qualifications. What exactly you may have studied is not necessarily the area that you may actually be performing in. Are you competent is the, is the primary question over and above do you have the qualifications, at least on paper. And this is something that we continue to see evolving over time, that you need the people with the right attitude. If they have the right attitude, then what exactly they've studied is neither here nor there. So competence over qualification. Fourth, 
responsibility first. It's an environment where individuals are given responsibilities without necessarily being given the titles, sometimes even without the reward. It's an environment where you're asked to take on more, environment where you're asked to do more without necessarily being promoted before those responsibilities are given to you. This is something that can be a bit contentious, controversial, because it does seem inherently unfair, and I accept that. But it's also something that is the hallmark of high-performance cultures. Responsibility first. These are underpinned by an environment that is very open, an environment where people are allowed to express themselves freely, an environment where people are open to criticism, an environment where people are encouraged to share what they think about a particular issue with absolutely no concern about any negative repercussions. Open. It's also an environment where we see shorter managerial spans. So accessibility to top management is something that is easily achieved. The most junior in the organization can easily access even the most senior. The most junior in the organization can have a confrontation, can have an engagement with the most senior in the organization, whether it's about various ideas or various thoughts that they have, all of which drive a particular culture. Remember, it's an environment where the results are the primary focus, and so it's neither here nor there whose idea it is. Let's just get it done and get it done well. It's also an environment that evolves. It continues to evolve. Evolution is a key hallmark of high-performance culture. Continuing to change, to adapt, to look at the opportunities that are there and to gear the organization or the individuals to, to that particular opportunity that, that has been seen is a fundamental hallmark of high-performance culture. So that's high-performance culture as the first part of this masterclass. Where are you? What do you see in terms of your own organization? Where do you think you can potentially do better? You start to address some of these issues and you start to see an environment where you can even attract the right type of people and begin to grow from there into a high-performing organization. Thank you very much.